guys. I hope you don't hear any alarms in the background. If you do, it's the joys of living in New York. Am I right? Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about how I got my job at Panera Bread Company, what was my experience like there, especially if you're a, in high school, you might be looking for applying for a job, or even if you're not, if you're in college, you just need a place to work. So I worked at Panera Bread Company or St. Louis Bread Company starting from the age of 16 until I graduated from high school, which was 18 years old, so I was there for about two and a half years, and I ended up working there because it was really close to my house and I didn't have a car so I could walk there every day and I really needed the money because I needed something to eat every day so I went to go work there I basically applied for the job I went into the actual building asking if they hired instead of looking online they said yes we hire write down our store number apply online I applied online the next day I remember I got an email or a phone call maybe saying to come in for an interview so I did after cheerleading I remember I got ready I wore a really nice like business attire dress which like is fine you can wear whatever you want to your interview I really don't think it's gonna matter that much but I think it looked nice that I was in a business dress because I was younger and they could think of me more seriously so I did that sorry I'm a little sick so it's a little strange but oh also excuse my nail I'm gonna get a redone after this but anyway um, I went and I did my interview. I remember I was so nervous. I brought in a resume with no actual work experience, just like things I do at school and stuff. And they read my resume and then he asked me, how much do you want to get paid? And I said, it doesn't matter to me as long as I'm getting paid and as long as I get the job, that's what matters to me the most. So I did that and I came in next week and he was like, okay, you're all set. You're going to start working. And I remember I went to the headquarters, so the first day I was actually stationed in St. Louis, Missouri, where St. Louis Red Company is located, so they sent me off to the headquarter place, which is in Kirkwood, Missouri, if you know anything about that, in Kirkwood, and it was this huge building that said, like, Panera, and, and I was like, oh my god, it's my first day, what am I gonna wear? I remember, I'm pretty sure I showed up in the uniform to the, like, headquarters, which I wasn't supposed to do, but whatever. They talked about bread. I remember they talked about Mother Bread logo. And I was like, yes, I'm going to be a part of this new family. They are like, try every product. It's going to be great. Anyway, get back to the store, start working. I'm working every day almost. It's crazy. Um, I start doing everything. I was actually almost every position in the store over the span of two and a half years. The very first day, I actually remember, I scrubbed the inside of the trash can, so I was like, what am I doing here? What is my life? Anyway, so we started doing that. Um, I had all the positions. I worked as everything. So I did dining room, which is cleaning up everything. I did back of house, cleaning up dishes. I did barista preparation of drinks, making backup drinks. I also did stock, which is just like putting everything away. I did cash register. I did line, doing soups and things like that. Even bakery stuff. I'd cut breads and do opening, closing, everything. I've done everything at Panera <laughs> you could ever ask for. My Panera is crazy because the lady that was like in my Panera, she wanted to be like platinum rating Panera and like, oh, so great. I love that store to death, but they worked me like no other for the amount they paid me. I believe I started out on 25 cents above minimum wage, which is already very impressive for someone who is new because there were people there who had been working there for like five or six years and they were still working minimum wage, which is crazy to me to hear. As like a 16 year old, I'm sitting there with older people and they're earning less than me. I felt really guilty about it, but anyway. So yeah, I was earning a little bit above minimum wage at the beginning, only like 20 cents, 25 cents above, I think, and um, I was working really hard. Every day I'd work hard. The shifts were crazy. Um, my shifts would start, so I'd either come right after cheerleading, go there, or I would go during openings. Openings were crazy. I worked opening Saturday, Sunday, because I can't work opening during the week because I had school. So openings are basically, you wake up at 4.30 in the morning to get to work at 5. Hopefully you live that close, even if you don't live that close. You get to work at 5 a.m. and you cut breads and stuff for an hour. 6 a.m. is when the, it opens. You're there from 5 a.m. and I was there from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. without lunch breaks. I try to remind them. I don't like, I don't like saying anything, but I'd be like, oh yes, um, I really, I'm just really hungry, please, like, can I have my lunch break? Um, 
yeah, so I'd work really long days uh, as a child, not as a child, but as like a teen. I think it's hard as your first job. Definitely taught me a lot. I think that the people there were very interesting. There's a wide variety. Definitely learned a lot about that. And about scheduling. I had to make sure I had scheduling on time. Because if I didn't have scheduling on time, that would be crazy. There's also some just weirdness. I didn't really know how to get along with the group. With the like vibes of the store. Um, because I guess they were older. A lot of them weren't going to college or weren't planning on it or haven't gone. And I was going to go. I was in a private institution. And... They always ask me about questions about that, so I felt like very strange and very, how do I say this? I learned a lot that um, the things that I do have are very, I should take them not for granted. I should really like be thankful for what I have because it was crazy like working there. Um, yeah, I made a lot with the family. I learned how to make drinks. I learned how to make sandwiches, soups. Uh, a lot of people ask me about actually about the soups. They're like, oh, do I cook them? They're heated in bags. Uh, <laughs> they're really good, though. Iced tea lemonade is made from a mix, not from a powder mix. So if you have any questions actually about Panera, leave them down below. I will be so happy to answer them. The last, I remember the last couple months, it was crazy because I was working there every day, especially my senior year when I, like, my last trimester, we didn't have that much, oh, it sounds like I'm pregnant, last trimester, no, we had trimesters in school, anyway, so my last trimester, I had free period, um, or I'd have, like, extra time, so I would work a lot, or even on snow days, they'd make me work because I'd walk, it was really insane. <laughs> To be honest, I learned a lot about Panera though, and actually, as much as I didn't like how little I was earning, especially after taxes, and how early I had to get up, and how hard I was working, I still end up going to Panera sometimes, and I love my Panera people. I hope they're doing well, actually, I should probably check in with them. It's it's so weird. I didn't make any like lifelong friends, but I did, I'm sure if I called the store, they'd be happy to hear about me, and I'd be happy to hear about them, but... Yeah, I think for a first job, it's really interesting. I tried to switch jobs, actually, and it was um, during my senior year because I didn't want to be getting paid minimum wage for the amount of work I was doing. I couldn't go out on the weekends or anything or see my friends, really, just because I was always working. <laughs> uh, people would actually come to see me and Panera. They'd be like, oh, hi, how you doing? What's up? And I'd be like, hey, I'm going to work at 5 a.m. I got to get up soon, you know? Do, 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 do. Just got off work. Got to get back. Uh, yeah, I think the organization has a lot they could improve on. Would I recommend working at Panera? If you're desperate and you need a job that bad, then yeah, sure work. Well, I am started doing another job here in New York City. I don't, I'm not working in food service. I'm not working in retail. I can't do that anymore. It's just, it feels like, I. this is going to sound crazy, but it feels like I'm not doing any work here. Yeah, I know I'm doing work. It's hard work that I'm doing, but the work is very different than the physical labor that you will endure. You don't do a lot of, like, thought processing. You do, but you need to be on point. You need to be active, ready to go. But, in Panera, but you are not thinking as much as another job, for instance, of what I'm doing in New York City right now. So it's just, like, such a weird, like, contrast for me. Anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Should you apply to Panera? Okay, if you're 16, you can't find another job. Apply to Panera. Why not? Do it. Why not? See if you will get hired. You probably will. Um, I can teach you all about the bagels. Leave me some questions. I'll answer anything you want, actually. Even if it's like you think it's too personal, I'll probably be able to answer it down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you're having a great day. I also uploaded a sketchbook video. It's very personal to me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy it, give that a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me when you guys support my art. Um, my crybaby video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. Just and any suggestions you guys have down below, leave them down below. I'd be happy to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed my Panera experience. Wow, you know, it's just a crazy day, crazy night, crazy day. Please give this a thumbs up if you want to watch more of my videos. Subscribe. <laughs> It means the world to me if you subscribe. It really, really does. It brightens my day. Even when I see one extra person, I'm like, wow, you like me. You watch my videos. Okay, I'm done rambling. Bye, guys.